from the 2007 <laughs> Joe Stapleton and Amanda Leatherman tonight on PokerWire. Welcome to PokerWired. I'm your host, Joe Stapleton. And I'm Amanda Leatherman. You might be wondering, what is PokerWired? Well, it's a poker news show with a humorous twist. Oh, like Saturday Night Live. Yeah, but it's, it's satirical. Like The Daily Show? Mm, uh, yeah, but it, uh, we're silly. Oh, it's like The Colbert Report. No, it's, it's not like any other show. It's, it's, it's poker news with humor. It, it's original. It's an original show. Fine. Still seems like we can update to me. We're, we're on a street corner outside the Rio. It's nothing like Weekend Update. You, does anyone, am I the only one who doesn't get this? Hi folks, welcome to the 2007 World Series of Poker. We are coming to you from the Rio. Well, we're not actually at the Rio. Due to media regulations, we're at the nearest cross street from the Rio. Well, we're still gonna do our best to bring you all the poker news. One week down, we have five and a half more to go. Things got off to a little bit of a rocky start here at the World Series the first couple days. Long lines and overcrowding led to a bit of chaos. And also, they, they brought in some new poker cards this year that kind of left things a bit dramatic. In the third year Harris hosting the World Series of Poker, they decided to make things easier on the players and introduce the new Poker Peak cards. These Poker Peak cards were printed at an angle so that players would be able to peek at them more easily when they're checking their hole cards. Unfortunately, the cards were easily misread when the players were looking at the board, so eventually they were ditched. This is actually the fourth deck that's been rejected so far this year. Oh, really? What were the other ones? Uh, first there was the deck that was designed for optimal suit recognition. Flush draw, anyone? Uh, then there was the 52 colored deck. It reminded me of Skittles. And finally, there was this one, the worst one of all. Uh, this is the Magic Eye deck. Look, see? No. Just unfocus your eyes a little. Oh, it's the Ace of Spades. Yeah, no, it's the Jack of Diamonds. Mm. Floor. In other World Series of Poker news, Steve Bilrakis became the youngest bracelet winner of all time in the World Series of Poker. At only 21 years, 10 days old, he's 11 days younger than Jeff Madsen was when he won his bracelets. Yes, but don't worry, there's no hard feelings between the two. In fact, we have this photo of them taken together only yesterday. One of the newest World Series of Poker bracelets went to Burt Booten. What are you doing? It's my, it's my Burt Booten dance. Okay, super fan. Well, I like Burt Booten, what can I say? Your buddy Burt Booten won the 5K PLO event. Yes, and immediately following the event, Burt Booten was awarded the 2007 World Series of Poker Most Alliterative Player Award. He badly beat out both Billy Baxter and Brad Booth while barely besting perennial powerhouse jumping John Jawanda. You're corny. You're short. Nice, really nice. And finally, Phil Ivey missed out on his sixth bracelet when he lost heads up to Chris Reslock in the 5K Stud World Championship event. Chris Reslock is actually a taxi cab driver. And for those of you keeping track of bracelets at home, poker superstars, zero. <coughs> Professional cab drivers, one. That was a hell of a piece of work. Thanks, Phil. Well, Joe, we're nine days in. What's your assessment on the series so far? If I had to describe the start of this year's World Series of Poker in only one word, it'd be circus. I know, right? It is like a circus in here. We have walruses, silver foxes, sheep, devilfish, and bears. Oh, my. And let's not forget the donkeys. Seriously, the lines and registration this year have been insane. Check this out. That is ridiculous. I'm sure it was some sort of safety issue. Let's be clear for a second. We're not taking shots at Harrah's. We're not criticizing their ability to run million dollar tournaments. Harris is not running a circus. In fact, here's a picture of me with one of the tournament directors. Well, that's all the time we have for Poker Wired. We'll see you next week. For Amanda Leatherman, I'm Joe Stableton saying we're all out. Start this. <laughs>